to our channel, Exploring It All. I'm Marcus Girl. Join me and my dad will we explore six scripture boxes, the outdoors, gear and equipment, and other fun things and places. Before we get started, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! Thank you for watching. Well, thank you for that amazing introduction, Miraculous Girl, and thank you everyone for joining us again here on Exploring It All. So today, we are going to be looking at some previous Battle Box items and also some items uh, that I actually ordered. Um, these are from a company that is no longer in business, to the best of my knowledge, uh, called Klecker Knives and Tools. And I believe that Klecker was based out of Oregon. Um, I, the first item I'm going to pull out here is a knife. And some of you may have seen this. This is not the specific one. that I did not get this one in uh, Battle Box. But this was the knife of the month in one of the first years uh, battle boxes and I forget the exact name of this knife it was the uh, it's called the uh, Abika A-B-I-Q-U-A Abic maybe I, I'm not really sure uh, anyway that's the knife it, it came with a Kydex sheet the one I ordered I I forget where I got this from it might have been off the of eBay um, and I want to say the one that Battlebox got may have had a fire steel attached to it. Uh, obviously, you have some holes here. You could attach uh, some sort of pocket sheath to it. Uh, the sheath holds it pretty good. And let's see, it says uh, David Kurt Design. Now, some of you may think this knife looks familiar, and that's because it does. Because I think after Clicker went out of business, uh, this knife was sold to another company named Revolt. And it has this gut hook tool and I think even a bottle opener there. Uh, this is in the spine here. And it might... I, there's two little ball bearings in there that hold this in this little divot hole here. You can see the cutouts. It sticks in there pretty well, um, and you just give it a little push, and it comes back in and out. So, I, I thought it was pretty cool. But, so this is probably the only knife that later on, BattleBox did feature the Revolt Remove, which is this knife but made by a different company. It may have different handles on it and, and things of that sort. But anyway, this was made by Klecker uh, Knives and Tools out of Oregon. Another, and I believe they've probably sold the rights or something to the name that they came up with. And we'll, well, you know what, before we go to that, the next item let's we'll bring up here is one I personally really liked. I couldn't wait to get this thing. And that was the the Clax. I have two of these. Uh, I, I don't know that this is the one I've used. I know I've used one of them. In fact, I'm certain this is not the one I've used. Um, because I did a lot of testing with the original one. And as you can see, it has a lot of various tools in there. You have various bid drivers and nut wrenches on that. You've got to be careful because it has a knife edge down here. And then you have this edge over here. And these have a very uh, sharp edge to them. Uh, you have this little carabiner hook here. You even have kind of a hammer end on this end. A uh, ruler on there. And... Then you have the handle, and I just noticed for the first time on the handle here, there's some little images carved up in there. 
Um, but yeah, so this was the Klax. Uh, these are still around. You can find them in various places. I think you can find them on eBay and stuff. Uh, these were over $100. Um, there was, this was the um, kind of deluxe version with all the tools in the middle. There was another version that was basically just the axe head itself with the attachment thing. And it was set up in such a way that you didn't have to use the handle. You could actually get a, you know, oak log or something and, and then attach it. But obviously this has cutouts in it for it to fit properly. And you do have to make, check your tensioning and adjustments when you're using this. You can't just keep filling away. You, you do have to uh, check on it. This has a good weight to it. Uh, this was designed in Oregon, but obviously it was made in China there. So this was another one of their, they had some really interesting design stuff that they came up with. And this has a belt loop on the back of this little sheath right here. Um, but I don't think it will fit, the sheath will fit in it with the ax head attached. In fact, I'm certain it won't. It just, well, maybe. I never tried it. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to try that. But anyway, so that's that. But the, and then the other thing that they came up with was these EDC items. Now, we got this in Battle Box, and this is still uh, available, I believe, and they called it the Tactical Toothbrush, although I would never use this as a toothbrush. Uh, it has a window breaker on the end. This, I don't think that this line came with that. I think it came with something else. Uh, this is kind of rubberized and the rest is metal, and then it has this aluminum piece that slides out. And this is why it's called the tactical toothbrush, is, is it has this, uh, and you know, you can slide this right back in here. Maybe I'm going the wrong way, or maybe I have to go, no, there we go. I would think of this more as a gun cleaning device. You're going to have a hard time getting that into the back of your mouth anyway. Um, but you can use that for cleaning purposes, for cleaning a knife or whatever. Uh, you can see the, even the logo on the back of this one. It says Grenade Soap Company on there, uh, which is a Battle Box owned company <coughs> or affiliate or something of that sort. Um, I want to say these two little holes here were for toothbrush powder or maybe water purification tablets or something to that effect. Now also on here is a little slot where you can put additional Klecker tools and they have a whole line of different tools. This one is a wrench. You have various, and I'm just gonna go over these real quick. You have the wrench and I just picked these ones out to put in here. Uh, this is a knife blade, a razor knife blade with a little cover on it. And then a pair of scissors. These scissors, I've used them once, I think. Uh, they worked okay. They weren't exceptional by any means. So we got some paper here. I think, unless you needed a really precision cut, you're probably just as easy to use your everyday carry pocket knife there, but if you wanted to do some fine style paper cutting, I mean, they work. So, anyway, so, and they have, so you have this little slurge slot in here for tools. I keep trying to push it in further than it needs to. See, that one goes in a little bit further. That one hangs in there. There you go. And so you have a tool. Now, I don't know if they had another tool that you could use to hook those up and use them. Now, I bought this carabiner, and this carabiner was specially designed um, 
two hold collector tools on it. It has a special square end on here. And I have a couple here that are still in the packages. Uh, well, and I'm going to open one of these up here. Uh, first up, we have a little kind of mini pliers. These are not quite as big as the ones. They don't open up as wide. You're going to be able to get small nuts on there. You're trying to tighten up that little thing you need to, that you're using a screwdriver on one side and you need something to hold that little nut on the back. These are going to work. They do have a clamp down item on it so you can keep them closed when they're stored up. Like I said, they don't open too wide. But it's kind of cool if you don't have a Swiss Army knife. This is the interesting one here. This one has a bit in it. You have your straight bit. And these are a flat bit design, kind of like the Leatherman tool ones. And this one is a, a Phillips head. So you got your flat bit and your Phillips head on there. You just flip it around. There's little rubber grips inside here that hold it in. Um, this, oops, this one here is a little LED flashlight. I don't know how bright it is. It's got two different ones on it. I don't, yeah, you can push them. They both can go. Um, I don't know. I've never tried opening it up to see if you can replace the batteries in it. It looks like it might. I don't know. We'll see if it ever goes dead. <laughs> I'll try it. Uh, next up, I got a little folding knife here. And all of these, and I have some somewhere else. All these, you see them on the end here. All of these tools came with a little adapter that you can close off the end here. So you can throw it on a key ring if you want. And so you can pick any of these kind of tools to throw on a key ring. And... Let's open this one up right here. I've never tested out this knife. So it actually worked pretty good. It cut that, but the glue on this is giving it up. So, and see, I was trying to do it without ripping it up. I don't know, I'll throw it away anyway. I know I have some more of these little clips for these uh, somewhere and I got smart and put them on this little screw chain here so I wouldn't lose them. There we go. So this one here, like I said, we got this little, it, this is a little lockback knife here, actually. Um, no idea what kind of steel. It says Klecker knives on it, has a patent number on it, but it locks into place. Like I said, it's a, it's a back lock. Um, not a liner lock, I might have said liner lock. Lock back. It's got a little nail clip. So that's a, that's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, so the item I just struggled to get out here. This is a little pair of precision tweezers. So you got the tweezers there. And then this item, I got two of these now. Uh, is quite popular out there. Uh, this one is called, it's called the Griffin. Uh, it has multiple nut adjustments. You have a bottle cap opener. 
I believe this is a quarter bit size bit driver there. So yeah, your quarter inch bit. You need something to turn a bit. So you have that. And I believe someone may have bought the rights to the Griffin tool because they seem to be quite widely available and popular. Uh, I see them all the time on the EDC channels and whatnot. And uh, it's a pretty impressive little tool. It's got a pry bar, you got a nail puller, you can use a screwdriver there, you got your various uh, wrench sizes. Um, it doesn't list the wrench sizes. Um, they used to make a phone case that you could slide these tools in as well, which is which is cool. Um, but anyway, so I was just kind of wanting to revi revisit uh, these items, these tools, and uh, see what you guys think. Uh, I kind of think they were uh, uh, Klecker was a little bit ahead of their time when it came to some of these designs that they came up with for these tools. Because um, I, I think they're kind of a really cool little small type pocket carry uh, item. Anyway, guys, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and remember, be nice to each other.